Hi, my name is Trev Hutchings, and this is how to use a MIDI controller with the Looper in BandLab. The BandLab Looper has 24 sounds in rows of four, but did you know you can turn those sounds on and off with a MIDI controller? To use a MIDI controller with the Looper in BandLab on an Android device, you're going to need an Android tablet or phone that supports OTG, and an OTG cable. So first, connect your MIDI controller to the OTG cable, and then connect your OTG cable to your tablet or phone. On a MIDI keyboard, the looper uses the two lowest octaves. That's C0 to B1. Starting with the top left looper sound pad on the lowest note. So the top left looper sound pad is the first key, C0. The first looper sound pad on row 3 is the ninth key, G sharp 0. And the bottom right looper sound pad is the 24th key, B1. To turn a looper on, press the key on the keyboard. To turn it off, press the same key again. The looper pads in each row are linked. So if you start a looper pad in the row and then press another key on the keyboard, that is for a looper pad in the same row, the first looper pad will stop playing and the second pad will start playing. The looper pads can be started and stopped with MIDI controller pads too. The looper pads use the numbers 0 to 23. So set the MIDI pads to type note, Set the MIDI pad for the top left looper pad to note 0. Set the MIDI pad for the next looper pad to note 1. And set the MIDI pad for the bottom right looper pad to note 23. Once again, tap on a pad to start the looper pad. Tap the same pad a second time to stop the looper pad. and tap a pad for a looper pad in the same row to swap looper pads. You don't have to press just one key or pad at a time either. You can press multiple pads or keys at the same time. 